Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video, I'm going to go over some of my favourite mods in Farming Simulator 19. So this video is just going to cover some of my favourite mods that I like to use um, in my gameplays. Some that I use quite regularly more than others. Now there is a ton of mods out there which we've got to be thankful for. So some of these you won't agree with me on. Everyone's got their own personal opinion. But these are my personal favourite ones that I use. So number one is going to be the CSZ Equipment Pack by DD Mod Passion. That's 37.39 megabytes to download, which seems a bit high, but when you see and consider the amount of equipment you get with it, so I've only got a few of them laid out here, but you can see there's loads and loads of different things that you get on this pack. Huge variety and it can work for four different equipments as well so you'll find all this under tools and you'll have these under tele handlers skid steer loaders front loaders and wheel loaders some of it's pretty much the same sort of thing like the same sort of buckets but it's just they're specific to those type of machines that you're using so if we skip past the standard in-game ones as soon as you see the CSZ logo you can now start seeing the amount of equipment loads and loads of different types of buckets bow forks bow forks with grabber bow handlers manure forks big forks and it list just goes on and on so you go past the standard in-game ones again front loaders this is and we've even got adapters where you can use this adapter to go from a front loader to a skid steer tool front loader to tele handler it's just amazing this pack the amount of things that you get in there and one of my personal favorite ones is this big bag handler which is just amazing i swear by it it can just lift up anything and it's this one here i've got the front loader version because if we jump in the tractor i've got my help menu on i'm on playstation as well once we hook up to it, this thing will lift anything. Pallets, bales, as long as you get over it, it's got tension straps. So if I press R1 on PlayStation, now you can see if I click in the R3 button, fast and unfasten tension belts, that will now hook up to that pallet and it will lift it up. Obviously I've got a weight on the back, which you will find you will need. And again, Come up to these bells here as long as you're reasonably over them put the straps up that'll pick up those two bells absolutely amazing but i mainly use it for forestry because i don't do a ton of forestry and i'm absolutely awful at picking up the logs with like grabbers and cranes and whatnot I just find if you come over to this, hook up to them, look, we've got four logs. Sometimes it does get a bit ropey like that. It doesn't like it if you're not attached to it properly. Or if you've got too many logs you're trying to pick up, it will sort of have a little bit of a panic attack, but it will soon let you know. See, now I've sort of rearranged that. That's not so bad now. Then you can load them onto your trailer. So. That is first on my list, and they're in no particular order. I'm just going to go through them. That is the CSZ pack by DD Mod Passion. Number two on my list is the Miller Machine by Chris U or Chris U70. This is 4.52 megabytes down to download, and again, this is a must-have. This is a fantastic bit of kit. Very versatile. Very useful picks up pretty much anything and everything again i've left my help menu on just so you can see what we're up to so if we hook up to the miller machine obviously you need a front lifter and pto to use this if we hook up to it 
first of all we'll do the pipe out now the pipe will detect any nearby trailer so automatically it will spin round and pick up this trailer we've got on at the back so again I'm, I'm on PlayStation so if I do L1 and X that unfolds the milling machine which brings those front bits out I'll just show you again you can just see them moving out and then we'll turn on the milling machine everything starts moving and then we need to lower it put down to the ground now we've got a pile of manure there just to show you what sort of things it will pick up so if you get sort of on into the pile it'll just fire it through yeah it doesn't look pretty it's firing it through the back of the trailer and also looks like it's coming out the bottom of the trailer but it does the job and I love to use this for cleaning out my silage bunkers bunker silos all my silage is just fantastic gets the job done so turn that off and lift it I'm just going to tip this manure out again because I want to show you another thing that it can do if you've got a swath on the ground whether it's grass hay straw anything like that it will pick up this and if you time it right you can go super fast so again lower it down turn it on if you start off slow just sort of going edging forward until it starts sort of picking it up you can gradually increase your speed and then you can just put your foot down and it will just go reasonably you know fast we're doing 19 20 miles an hour we're picking up all this grass so you can get through straw swaths, grass and hay in no time. Absolute fantastic bit of kit. This one you'll find under tools and it will be under miscellaneous and it's dirt cheap to buy as well considering what it does. It's 5,000 to buy and it picks up all those things it says down the bottom there. Potatoes, sugar beet, everything. Pig food, fertilizer, lime. You've got a few different options for changing the main color and the design color. I won't go every, through everything like that. But there you go. That's number two on my list, which is the Miller Machine by Chris U70. Next up on my list, and again, these are in no particular order. So I'm just doing them at random is this which is animal goods transport this is by Mantrid and this is 5.68 megabytes to download now you get some trailers in this but for me the most important thing of this pack that you get is this pallet here which I think is amazing I've got one empty over here just to show you so the pallet comes empty like that you only get the pallet for the eggs and wool We'll go through everything in a second. So obviously I've got two chicken pens. I've got the two chicken configurations of it. The good thing about this pallet is you can pick it up. So if you want to move it about and get it into position a bit better like that, you can. As long as it's in the hatched area, hazard zone, whatever you want to call it, like so, it will work. And you have to have this writing facing outwards. So where it says unloading sign facing outwards. As you can see you've got the picture of the chickens there. If I had a wall one there'd be a picture of a sheep there. So the pallet starts off empty like that. But as the eggs appear. So as soon as the box is ready to appear. It will automatically appear in these cages like that. And this will stack up another layer so you can get absolutely loads of eggs on there I think it's something like 28,800 litres of eggs on here so basically you've got six cages there so you get 12 cages on this pallet before you start getting the warning symbol about not being any space on the um, spawn area for eggs so let's just have a look so the pallets first of all you'll find under objects sorry and then under pallets right at the very end they're only a thousand to buy so as you can see we're on the wall one at the minute we've got the peach picture of the sheep there 
So this will hold 12,000 litres of wool. If we go across, we've now got eggs and they change to chickens. So you must make sure you've got the right um, one selected. And there you go, 28,800 litres of chickens, uh, eggs. So it's only for the wool and eggs, those pallets will work. Now the trailers, which auto load off of those pallets will be in tools and under animals if we scroll along there we are you've got the three there so you've got one for wool which will hold 28,000 litres one for milk which holds 25,200 litres and one for eggs there which will hold 19,200 litres obviously the milk one if you just come up into your area where your milk is, it will automatically load onto the trailer like it is in the picture there, onto crates, like so. You've got a few different options um, on the trailers. I won't go through them all. You can change the main colour, the wheels and whatnot like that, the logo at the back. But what is pretty good is down on the attachers, you've got the option to add a trailer hitch so you could connect a couple of these up and you could have a big old train of eggs or wool, milk, whatever you want to do. Like so. They're all the same um, price to use, to buy, sorry, 28,000. But obviously with these you will need either a truck or a dolly, which I have prepared. So what I'll do is I'll jump in. hook up to the trailer as soon as we get near those eggs they will automatically load onto this trailer as you can see makes our life a lot easier now I don't want to get all of them on there because I've got another thing to show you in a second but that is number three on my list animal goods transport by Mantrid next up sticking with the auto load trailer theme we've got this which is the auto load pack by rowley christie one vsr modding sir this is 7.06 megabytes to download and you get two sort of sets of trailers so you've got one for your animals again for your eggs um, wool and milk which will go across and you also get one for seed fertilizers pig food and lime i think which will check out in a second so here i've got the egg configuration one because obviously we've got some eggs over there to unload so these animal ones you will find under tools and go to animals like so if we go all the way to the end there it is there as you can see down the bottom eggs milk and wool it says 20,000 liters but it varies depending on what configuration you have it in these are only 6,200 to buy and what is good about these is if you can't afford a truck or you haven't got a truck or you don't like using dollies um, like in the previous trailers I showed you these ones will just hook up to a tractor so I quite often use these with the pallet from the previous pack that I just showed you so you've got a few options there to change the main colour and the ring colour, which I won't go through. But the main thing is the configuration. So we've got eggs there and you can see it says 19,200 litres at the top. Change that to milk, it goes to 20,000 litres and walls 8,000 litres. And then you can change the wheel brand, etc. There's no trailer hitch on these ones. But the good thing about these is if you go for, say, egg configuration, um, and you've also got sheep if you just take this to your workshop you can customize it and turn it over to wool or any of the others it won't cost you anything so that's pretty cool so really you only need one of these trailers unless obviously you're very rich and you want to have loads of them so let's hook up to it again I'm leaving the help menu on just so you can see certain things and obviously, like I said, with this being a different part, a different mod, this pallet, 
this will auto unload from here as you can see which is pretty cool so I tend to use both of those packs um, for my chickens as you can see that will load up all of that there you go job done so that is the animal side of it and if I tab up to the tractor at the shop we've got this one here attached and as you can see we've got the seed configuration there so these sets of trailers you'll find under tools and these will be under trailers themselves if we go all the way to the end there you go big bag trailer 9500 to buy it holds solid fertilizer lime seeds and pig food it says 40,000 litre but again depending on what configuration you've got it in it's the same sort of thing you can change the rim colour the main colour but again there you can see we've got the solid fertiliser symbol if we go across the line that will change it bumps it up to 40,000 but I think all the others are 20,000 there's seeds and pig food and what is pretty cool about these I've got the seed configuration I've bought five seed bags there from the shop so if we come up again if you look at the help menu at the top as soon as we get near these bags we get the refill container option so if I click L3 that will now load up these seed bags onto the trailer and the big bag will disappear and it will add it to the trailer is pretty cool obviously you are too far away from there but you get the gist of it now if you've got a buy anything silo like there is on this map I'm on no man's land if we come in underneath this pipe there you go we've got the start fill filling trigger come up so now it will automatically detect we've got seeds on so we can't select anything else hit the load button that will just now fill up that trailer to maximum which is pretty good so you can do that now this is especially handy I think for going out onto your fields to reload your seeders or your fertilizer spreaders lime spreaders anything like that because you can unload from here onto the seeders or planters so obviously you need to be in in the tractor that's pulling the other two to just auto load from these you can also unload off of this trailer into your silo providing you've got a multi-fruit one that will take all these things there is a bit of a warning because if we do unload from here like so it will unload this trailer in loose so it won't put it back in the big bags as you can see it, uns it unloads if you do it like this way it will be loose on the ground so that's the only downside to this mod but apart from that it's a handy bit of kit that so that is the auto load pack by Rowley Christie one and VSR modding sir next up we've got the lizard subsoiler 6 meter by black sheep modding it's 3.71 megabytes to download now there is another lizard 6 meter but it's a cultivator so try not to get confused as long as you've got the subsoiler one you'll be okay again this is a must for any farm in my eyes you've got um, attachments on the front and back so you can hook it up to the front or the back of your tractor either way round should I say but what's cool about this you can fold it in and out as well like that so if we come over to here and allow create fields and then lower it down this tractor will struggle with this because it's only a 99 horsepower tractor and the subsoiler requires I think it's 180 to pull but if we detach that and now I know this isn't very realistic but it's 
just showing you what I can do. We hook up this way round to it. So now it's going technically the wrong way round. You can see the tines are round the opposite way. If we now drop that down, allow it to create fields again, a lower plough, this should be able to go a lot faster now. Look at it. Because we've reversed it and it's still creating fields. So that thing is again a handy bit of kit. This one you'll find under tools, it is actually under ploughs, even though it is a subsoiler. And it's right there, 17,000 a buy. You got a few options to change the design colour and main colour, like so. But there you go, that's the Lizard Subsoiler 6 meter by Black Sheep Modding. Next up, we've got these two bad boys. They're the same tractor but in different configurations. This is the Fent Favret 51X by Track Farah. This is 11.32 megabytes to download. Now, this is the only tractor I mention. I know there's some brilliant tractors out there, but I absolutely love this little thing. It's a proper little workhorse and features in quite a few of my farms. We have got a standard in-game Fent 5-1, whatever it is, 5-1-1, whatever configuration you go into. But in small tractors, there's the standard in-game one. So you get a few options there, like so. But this one will only go up to 150 horsepower. So you, it changes there from a 5-11 to a 5-1-5. But it will only go up to 150 horsepower. If we go right to the end, we've got two options with this mod. So we've got the gear shift sound one. They're the same price, but obviously depending on what you have configuration wise. So you can change all the rim colours and you can change the main colour to any of these sort of older styles. Like so. Change all the wheel brand and setup. Um, the design with or without fenders, you can have with or without front PTO, but this is the bit for me. You can go through these configurations, so 115 horsepower, 125, 140, 150, and this will go up to 195 horsepower. So it gives you a small tractor with 195 horsepower. How cool is that? So that's with exhaust one, as you can see. And if you go on one more, it will give you a different exhaust, but it will go through exactly the same engine configurations as you can see, right up to 195. You can have front loader, yes or no. But the good thing is, look at the price, 49,000, because if you change these colors, to any of the old metals you get a knockoff price so if we go to new metal there that goes up to 89,620 for the total price on that configuration for the tractor if we go and pick the old metal of that color that drops that down to 49,000 so you can have 195 horsepower small tractor for less than 50 grand. How smart is that? Now we have got the standard one, which I think was this one, and the gear shift one. So I'll quickly show you. They sound awesome as well, even just the standard one. Get a bit closer. When you ease off the accelerator. Get that nice whining sound as it kicks down. I just think they're brilliant, and this is the gear shift one. Again, I'll get a bit closer. So you can hear the gears kicking in.
absolutely love that tractor so that is the Fent Fabric 51X and I believe it's 51X because obviously the X will turn into a number like that 515 when you change the engine configuration this is the Lizard EP End Dump Pack by Carl Farms it's 29.62 megabytes to download there's three different sizes um, of trailer you can have this is the largest one if you have the extension on the top which is the white boards there this goes up to 105,000 litre capacity which I believe at the time of recording this is the biggest capacity trailer in the game um, you can have a ton of configurations on it you can put all these wheels on there which you can lower them all down to the ground you got extra lights you can put on there you can change all the funky colors there's some metallics some cool colors on there you can have these signs on the back and most importantly is it's got a trailer hitch option we can add so you can daisy chain road train these and get quite a few of them on the go if you want but it's a beast of a trailer all we'll do is we'll quickly hook up does pretty much the same as any other ordinary trailer but if we zoom in a bit I know it's daylight but if we turn our lights on look it lights up like a Christmas tree now it looks really cool at night goes all the way round the cab and we can unfold tipper will drop all those wheels it's quite slow but as you can see they're going down like so pretty cool this you'll find under tools under trailers obviously and then towards the end like I said there's three different sizes so you've got this one what you need to be careful of is it the main menu there it will say 45,000 litres on that but you just got to make sure when you come on here you do add the extension so at the minute it's only 40,000 litre capacity there's a ton of options as I say with the colours you got some really smart colours and then you've got metallics further down like so so I won't go through all of them we can change the rim color to anything on there we've got chromes silvers all sorts the design color is either gonna do let's put it on something funky so you can see is either gonna do a cover so you can have a cover on there like so but that will still remain at 40,000 litre capacity it will remain at the lowest that it can go or you can have the extension boards that now takes it up to 45,000 litres and you can also turn it into a log trailer which opens up the back end so you can tip your logs in there like so and that is it back to standard change all your wheel brands your wheel set up by adding the wheels different wheels like this yeah, obviously the bigger you go the more wheels you're going to add you got the extra light options mud flap decals yes or no attaches your trailer hitch rear signs yes or no they're all pretty much the same as you can see again that's only saying 70,000 so you need to have the it's one of those annoying menus where you keep flicking up you need to have the extension so that will add on another 10,000 that one and then the M1 is 95 again if you have the extension that will bump it up by another 10 to 105 so there you go pretty smart trailer that is Lizard EP N Dump Pack by Carl Farms next up we've got this which is the Great Plains YP4025A by DJB is 7.19 megabytes to download very nicely detailed now we have got a standard in-game um, Great Plains planter so this you'll find under tools and under planters right at the very end so that's the standard in-game one 
which is good because it's 18.2 meters wide but it will only seed and it's not a direct drill so it won't fertilize and it's not a direct drill whereas this one yes it drops it down to 12 meters which is still pretty impressive but it will do all those crops so it plant pretty much everything you want and it also fertilizes liquid fertilizer it will take and as you can see down the bottom it will seed directly no previous cultivating or plowing necessary and I just like it because it's just ready to go it's a decent width working width and it also fertilizes as well it's got a decent size tank on it so if we unfold that we'll just keep it on weight we've got our nice field ready to go from our lizard subsoiler earlier so if we turn on the sower, lower it down off we go putting wheat into the ground I just think it's a great piece of kit it's not too expensive it's only 102,000 to buy which is reasonably cheap for um something this size there you go if we go on to our menu where are we down there you can see we've got wheat going in the ground and if we turn these off there you go we're fertilized so pretty impressive that's the great plains yp4025a by djb up next we've got this which is silo wood by omatana it's only 1.68 megabytes to download which is very low obviously it's a silo nice detail with the wood effect i really like this and there's some really good things about this it's got a little light up there as well you can just about see so obviously you tip in your pipe out there this you'll find under placeables under silos right down the very end it's only 30,000 to buy and it takes absolutely anything as you can see down the bottom it takes diesel water milk liquid fertilizer herbicide slurry digestate and everything else there pig food and not only that it's got a 10 million liter capacity 10 million so there you go for 30,000 absolute love it that is silo wood by Omatana we've got these now they are two separate mods but I thought I'd show them to you at the same time so first of all we have got the multi filling station by Edge Gaming that's 6.16 .6 megabytes to download and then we've got the multi selling station which is by edge gaming also and castiga that is 5.69 megabytes to download you can buy pretty much everything from this and that one you can sell pretty much everything on there these you will find under placeables under miscellaneous again cheap to buy 10,000 so the filling station you've got three options you've either got the silver the black or the gold and then for the selling station you've just got silver or black again just ten thousand to buy madness if you put them down on your map they will appear on your map like that as a sell point and they will also appear appear on here in your selling points um, menu so you can see across the top it just takes everything seeds milk you can see the water symbol there zero so you can get water out of the filling station but you can't sell it at the um, selling station it will let you unload the water in there but you won't get paid anything and obviously the prices will fluctuate like any sale point but look you've got diesel fertilizers manure slurry digestate lime pig food all sorts just as an example I've just got a standard in-game trailer there 
we will fill up with it should give us the option of either milk or water because that's all this trailer will take yet so we'll go for milk fills up pretty quick as you can see already done 8,000 litres now that's cost us 6,160 if we drive to here and sell this milk it's a little bit slower selling but just remember how much we paid for this milk obviously there's potential for a bit of naughtiness here 10,563 so we already made a profit on that milk just by going from there to there <laughs> so obviously the pr prices will fluctuate but there you go you got potential for a bit of naughtiness there there you are that's the multi-filling station and multi-selling station by edge gaming and castiga next up we got this which is multi silo shop by cns modern and Anne Marie. it's 3.70 megabytes to download absolutely love this thing it only does seed seed solid fertilizer and lime but it is dirt cheap to buy it from here just absolutely love it so you'll find this under placeables under miscellaneous and there it is there it's only six thousand to buy like i say it does seeds solid fertilizer and lime but it's so cheap i'm just going to show you as an example we've just got the stroutman 4000 litre trailer on the back so we'll go for solid fertilizer loads up pretty quick as well that's cost us 320 euros I've got one set up here at, um, I'm on no man's land which has got this buy anything sort of silo there now if we buy solid fertilizer from here same capacity trailer 6719 I rest my case so that is why I use this one which is a multi-silo multi shop by CNS Modern and Anne Marie. Next up is this. This is the Lizard T Rex or Trex 600. This is by Black Sheep Modern. It's 10.54 megabytes to download. And this thing is a beast, as you can see. It will just get rid of trees in no time for you. And as you can see on the back, it's got a ball hitch a pin hitch a three point lifter so you can pretty much hook up to anything trailers all sorts and this you will find under vehicles under forest machines all the way to the end 190,000 to buy you get a few options you can change the main color to anything on there like so and you can also change the sort of cage options for forestry and you've got a couple of wheel options there which just changes the um tracks on there like so what i said about it um having all those attachments at the back this does actually come with as part of the pack if we go into plows again this little fella at the end so you, it comes part of the pack a little subsoiler it's only four meters wide but you can hook that up to the back of it and as you're plowing through getting rid of your trees you can create a field if you want and you can change all the colors as well so pretty cool but let's jump into this now you can move this cutter shredder whatever you want to call it the front up and down but i just wanted to show you that this is how i've got it i haven't moved it at all so if we press L1 and turn it on square, I haven't even moved this at all, but if you come up to a tree, sometimes you get the weird collision like that, you just got to knock into it, but it just gets rid of trees just like that. It's 
stumps go and everything. You haven't got to worry. Look at that. Look how quick that is. You haven't even got to worry about stumps. So if you're not one for doing forestry, or if you just want to get rid of some trees real quick, this is the thing for you. That's just unbelievable. Before it had its update, it could be a little bit finicky with this. You used to have to keep trying to twist it and move it up and down to try and get the stumps. But it had an update and now it just does that to trees. Just mullers them. So that is why that is on my list. That is the Lizard Trex 600 by Black Sheep Modding. Next up we've got this, which is the Front Lifter by Pepe978. It's 1.46 megabytes to download. This is a handy little bit of kit as well. Now it won't hook up to absolutely anything, so it'll be a little bit of trial and error, but it does hook up to most things. So if there's so something that hasn't got a front lifter on it, so like this John Deere over here, for instance, just the standard in-game John Deere. We just jump in here. As you can see at the front, no front lifter. As soon as we drive near this, we get the trigger come up, hooks up. Now we've got a front lifter of a PTO on our tractor. Very handy indeed. But also, which is pretty cool, is some lorries, trucks. Wheel. Hook up to it. So now we've got a front lifter of PTO on our MAN truck. And what is pretty cool doing this is I like to hook the milling machine up to this with my truck and then that big trailer on the back and just go along picking up straw, grass, hay, whatever you want to do. So a very handy, versatile bit of kit. And that you will find under tools under miscellaneous and there it is at the end only 2500 to buy and you can change the color to anything like that if you so wish if you want it to match it up with anything that you've got so a very handy piece of kit that is the front lifter by pepe978 and finally we've got this which is water standpipe by cns modern and Anne Marie. this is 0 0.61 megabytes to download so it's not even going to touch the sides when you're downloading it i just love this thing because it's small it's not like big in the way you can place it pretty close to buildings and it fills up pretty quick so this you'll find under placeables, under miscellaneous. There you go, it's only 1,500 to buy. Like I say, you can spin it round so the tap points to whatever way you want to go. You can get it pretty close to places, buildings, like so. So it's not going to sort of be in the way. If we jump in here, we've got a standard Joskin water trailer on. Just put the help menu on. As we get near, we get start filling symbol. As you can see, look how fast that fills up. Brilliant. And it didn't cost us a penny. So that is it. That is a list of some of my favorite mods again they're in no particular order i do like to use all of them or most of them on different maps some of them you probably already know about hopefully some you haven't seen before and i've showed you something new but there's a ton of mods out there so there is some fantastic ones that's just my personal opinion but i hope you have all enjoyed the video and found it useful if you have please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.